Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming. In this special request RPG Maker AMV tutorial, I'm going to help Avery a AMC 541C with a special request he has. He says, hey, I'm stuck with the idea of making a skill when used on any of my characters it adds a subclass, such as a vampire or a werewolf, etc. Any help would be good. So Avery, it's uh, pretty easy to do. You're going to need some plugins for this. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below where you can get those plugins. You're going to need Yanfly's core engine, Yanfly's class change core, Yanfly's expansion for subclass. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our new class, if you probably already have it. Uh, make the vampire class. I, have, uh, I haven't given anything special. This is for demonstration purposes. But you make your class, give it all the skills and everything you want. Um, let's go to our vampire bite skill. So how, what's going to happen is you're going to fight a, a vampire lord and if he bites you with the vampire bite he's going to turn you with a, uh, into a vampire by changing your subclass into vampire. So we're going to create a new skill called the vampire bite. Give it a name, icon, description, whatever you want. Skill types up to you. It's all arbitrary. Occasion battle screen, scope one enemy most likely. Probably want to make it a physical attack so it's avoidable. Whatever animation, message, uh, damage type, it's up to you. But what you need to do is add a state and a common event. So let's go to our states. <coughs> we are going to add the vampire state. Doesn't need anything special. Just remove it at the end of battle and set it to turn end of one. And it has to be turn end of one. Otherwise, it doesn't always work. <coughs> so we're going to go to our common events now. Let's create a new common event called inflict vampire or whatever you want to call it. We're going to make a new conditional statement for each actor. So the first thing we're going to do is right click insert new conditional branch. It's on tab one. And we're going to go to page two of the conditional branch and select the first actor we want. And then we're going to go to state and select the state that we just created of vampire. Doesn't need any else handler or anything. But if that uh, actor is inflicted by the state of vampire, what we're going to do is we're going to insert a plugin command. So right click insert new plugin command is on page three at the bottom under advanced. So insert plugin command. Inside that plugin command, you're going to type in a capital C on change, capital S on subclass. That's one word, change subclass. Then we're going to put a space, <coughs> excuse me, and we're going to put a number. The first number is going to be the actor number. So on my actors tab, I have Anubis for two. <coughs> and I have um, 29 is my vampire state, or my vampire uh, class. So I have actor Anubis on 2 and my vampire uh, class on 29. So we're changing Anubis subclass to vampire. And you'll do the same thing for each actor. So Dantes would be my actor number 3. So we'll say 3 here. And of course class is still 29. So 329 for that plugin command. New uh, uh, conditional branch for every actor. And then hit apply. And once you go back to your skills, we're going to add that state. And that's under state here, add state, add the vampire state you just created. And then call on that common event after you add the state. So you want to add the state and then do the common event. Otherwise, I don't know if it'll work right. Well, let's go into battle. Um, I've already added the, uh, an enemy and gave him the skill of vampire bite and gave him a bunch of agility. So he's going to go fast, save us some time. And I've made the event so that we can just get into a battle with him. Oh, I probably should have showed you something first. We'll do this again. Sorry about that. So let's look at our actors. We can see that Drifty is just a Ronin. He has no subclass. And same thing for the others. They're just uh, soldiers and they have no subclass or anything. So here's our vampire bite. See Anubis has been inflicted with the vampire bite. Let's let everybody get bit. Okay, Drifty's been bitten. And Dantes has been bitten. So let's kill this vampire lord. <laughs> now if we check our um, our jobs you can see right here Ronin vampire soldier vampire soldier vampire 
Um, you also have the option to change to your main class to a vampire and set your subclass to your previous one if you want to go all out vampire. But hopefully you liked this tutorial. Um, hopefully it was uh, simple and easy to understand. If you did, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe. If you have any more special requests, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for being awesome. We'll see you guys in the next tutorial.